Good morning and happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Today, let us stand as we prepare for Mass. For the beauty of the earth, for the glory of the skies, for the love which from our birth over and around us lies. Lords of all, to you we raise this our hymn of grateful praise. For the beauty of each hour, of the day and of the night, hill and vale and tree and flower, sun and moon and stars of light. Lords of all, to you we raise this our hymn of grateful praise. For the joy of human love, brother, sister, parent, child, friends on earth and friends above, for all gentle thoughts and mild. Lord of all, to you we raise this our hymn of grateful praise. And in gratitude for all the blessings God has given us, we gather in his name this day, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. My brothers and my sisters, as we gather together today to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Father, all-powerful, your gifts of love are countless and your goodness infinite. As we come before you on Thanksgiving Day with gratitude for your kindness, open our hearts to have concern for every man, woman, and child so that we may share your gifts in loving service. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Sirach. And now, bless the God of all, who has done wondrous things on earth, who fosters people's growth from their mother's womb and fashions them according to his will. May he grant you joy of heart and may peace abide among you. May his goodness toward us endure in Israel to deliver us in our days. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Praise you, servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. Blessed, Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord. Above all the heavens is his glory. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Who is like the Lord, our God, who is enthroned on high and looks upon the heavens and the earth below? Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. He raises up the lowly from the dust. From the dunghill he lifts up the poor. 
to seat them with princes, with princes of his own people. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always on your account for the grace of God bestowed on you in Christ Jesus, that in him you were enriched in every way with all discourse and all knowledge as the testimony to Christ was confirmed among you so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will keep you firm to the end, irreproachable on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, and by him you were called to fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The word of the Lord. Gospel, we live love, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. As Jesus continued his journey to Jerusalem, he traveled to Samaria and Galilee. As he was entering a village, ten persons with leprosy met him. They stood at a distance from him and raised their voices, saying, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. And when he saw them, he said, Go show yourselves to the priest. As they were going, they were cleansed. And one of them, realizing he had been healed, returned, glorifying God in a loud voice. And he fell at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. He was a Samaritan. Jesus said in reply, Ten were cleansed, were they not? Where are the other nine? Has none but this foreigner returned to give thanks to God? Then he said to him, Stand up and go. Your faith has saved you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, happy Thanksgiving, everyone, again. Uh, Today uh, is a day that's normally, it's normally uh, celebrated around food or gathering. And uh, there's a story around Mother Teresa, actually. She was doing an address to the National Prayer Breakfast in uh, 1994. Um, So she she told the story that I want to tell you today. She said, this is her words, Uh, One evening, several of our sisters went out and we picked up four people from the street. One of them was in the most terrible condition. So I told the other sisters, you take care of the other three, I'll I'll take care of this one who's in the most need. So I did for the woman everything that my love could do. I I cleaned her, I, I put her in bed. There was such a beautiful smile on her face. She took my hands and said two words, thank you, and then she died. Mother Teresa continued, I couldn't help but examine my own conscience and ask, what would I say if I were in her place? My answer was simply that I would have tried to draw a little tension to myself. I would have said, I'm I'm hungry, or I'm dying, or I'm in pain. But she continues, this woman gave me so much more. She gave me grateful loving, dying with a grateful smile on her face. It means that even those with nothing can give us the gift of thanks. 
How much more was this woman today? Like our pilgrims, our ancestors, uh, who took the time to be grateful, even though they had every reason to probably be ungrateful. Their first Thanksgiving, uh, way back in 1621 in Plymouth, uh, they had probably they probably had every reason to be ungrateful. It was not born out of abundance, this great feast. They had suffered this terrible journey to this new world. They experienced the harshness of their first New England winter and lost countless members as a result of travel, weather, and disease. They were strangers in a strange land and it did not yield an easy welcome to them. And yet they did not shy away from saying thank you. Thank you to each other and thank you above all to God. And as I was looking upon you know, some quotes as I was thinking about the children's homily a couple of weeks ago or a couple of days ago, um, I stumbled across some gems. So an unknown, unknown author wrote, be thankful for the bad things in life for they open our eyes to the good things we weren't paying attention to before. And the Christian brother also wrote that in, in, uh, in daily life we must see that it is not happiness that makes us grateful, but gratitude that makes us happy. I think but my favorite quote comes from uh, the great mystic uh, Meister Eckhart who wrote, if your only prayer that you said in your life was thank you, that would suffice. I think that's what this, this day is all about. Saying thank you. Thank you not just for the good but thank you for all aspects of the life. Thank you for each and every event, every friendship, every love of our existence. And thank you not just to each other and for our country, but thank you to God about whom there would be no blessings. May we who celebrate this Eucharist of gratitude and share this meal on Thanksgiving never fail to be aware of the countless blessings that enrich our lives this day and every day of our life that sometimes we, we take for granted. In gratitude for the many gifts God has given us, we lift up our hearts to Christ in prayer. That all members of the church may answer the call to evangelization and make known to the world the salvation that Jesus offers, we pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. The government leaders will seek to enact laws and policies that work to ensure that no one is left homeless or hungry, we pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. That each of us will recognize that all we have is a gift from God and pour ourselves out more fully in love and service to God and our neighbor, we pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. That those who feel isolated alone may be reassured of God's love and care for them through the outreaching of caring and committed Christians, we pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. That each of us will set aside time to pray each day so we may continue to grow in our faith in God and give a more faithful and effective witness to the gospel. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may share in the joys of the kingdom of heaven. We pray in particular for Carol and Carolyn Hyrix. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers and needs that each of us holds in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we thank you for all the blessings you give us, and we continue to praise you. Grant these prayers through Christ our Lord this day. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice and for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all the Holy Church. God our Father, from whose hand we have received generous gifts, so that we might learn to share your blessings and gratitude, accept these gifts of bread and wine. And let the perfect sacrifice of Jesus draw us closer to all our brothers and sisters in the human family through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. You have entrusted to us the great gift of freedom, a gift that calls forth responsibility and commitment to the truth that all have a fundamental dignity before you. In Jesus, through his death and resurrection, we find our ultimate redemption, freedom from sin, and every blessing. And so with hearts full of love, we join the angels today and every day of our lives to sing your glory as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. 
until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Uh, for communion today, we'll do it just like a, like a normal uh, weekend Mass. So we'll do sections one and three at the same time, rotating this way, then two and four afterwards going this way. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray.
In this celebration, O Lord our God, you have shown us the depths of your love for all your children. Help us, we pray, to reach out in love to all your people so that we may share with them the good things of time and eternity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. I wish you all again a very happy and uh, joyful Thanksgiving uh, filled with lots of food and all the good things in life. So, um, uh, yeah, hopefully you get lots of pumpkin pie today. Um, I know I am, so I'm very grateful for that, uh, amongst well, a lot of other things too, but uh, uh, may you be blessed this day. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let all things now live in a song of thanksgiving to God our Creator, triumphantly race, who fashioned and made us, protected and stayed us, by guiding us unto the end of our days. God's banners are o'er us, pure light goes before us, a pillar of fire shining forth in the night, till shadows have vanished and darkness is banished. As forward we travel from light into light.